Okay. Okay, good as go. Enjoy your night. Okay, catch up. Bye. Saturday, July the 2nd, Tafaya Park, uh, reserve grade, second division, OBU 69ers versus OBU Teddy Bears, Alan Hobbs referee. So I don't know if I caught that too well, Alan, but if you look at your body orientation, um, you pretty much had your back to me, uh, back at that last ruck. If you actually turn more sideways and have your left shoulder angling more towards this touchline, it opens up your whole ability to be able to scan the defending back line. So you're looking sideways into the phase, and then you can easily, just by flicking up an eye, or a quick scan, very easy as I said, to look at defenders. So if you um, review that, Alan, you'll see that your body orientation, you, once again, you're just not looking at the defending backs. Certainly all up, offside.
You want to try and work on your penalty whistle a bit more, Alan. You want to make it much more emphatic so everybody knows that it's a penalty, including the guy who's way down behind the goalposts. Even if the person behind the goalpost has got his back to you, they need to know, without turning around, that it's a penalty and they can do that through your whistle. So if you really blow that whistle, be much more emphatic. Um, it creates a great perception for all kinds of reasons. I actually thought that was going to be a scrum, Alan. That your whistle was so quiet, it sounded like a, a scrum whistle. So that's what I'm talking about. A good whistle creates all kinds of perceptions, particularly creating confidence in the players, in management on the sideline, spectators. It just tells everyone that you're totally in control and you got it sussed. And if there happens to be a bit of niggle, it really settles everyone down as well. So really work on developing that whistle at penalty time. Not quite sure what happened there, Alan, but you were obviously a long, long, long way away. Um, yeah. So if we go back, Alan, and just have a look why you got so long way away, maybe it's 
going to be helpful for you in the future. And always try and keep yourself into infield positions.